we're going to take a look at some of the weird exponents, um, the the fringe strange ones um, that are that are that are kind of out there. And the first one we're going to look at is the to the zeroth power. So what does it mean to have uh, some value um, to the zeroth power exponent? Um, well, this one's really counterintuitive, but I'll I'll try and uh, we'll we'll do a, we'll do a pattern and we'll um, we'll make it work out. So right now I have uh, ten to the zeroth. What would happen though? Um, Let's let's do some calculations. Let's see what is uh, say. Uh, we'll try what is ten to the fourth power. Let's calculate with that one. Let's do ten to the third power. Ten to the second power. Ten to the first power, and then we'll do ten to the zeroth. And we'll see what each one of these is equal to. In this way, we can kind of establish a pattern um, to to see what comes out. Um, so the first here, 10 to the fourth, um, well, it's, it's 10 times 10 times 10 times 10. Um, and we all know when we multiply by 10, we just add a zero, right? So that's 10 times 10 times 10 times 10, which is equal to um, 10 times 10 is 100, times 10 is 1,000, times 10 is 10,000. So basically, it's a number with, um, with four zeros, right? Um, 10 to the third, therefore, I'm just going to skip this one, is 1,000. 10 squared is 10 times 10. That's one of our uh, perfect squares. Um, that means 10 to the first is simply 10. Um, as it turns out, anything to the first power, this one is kind of obvious, but we, we should cover it. Um, anything to the first power is simply itself, right? So if I were to say x to the first power, well, as it turns out, that's x times nothing, so that's just x. Um, if it's to the first power, we can we can ignore that. Okay, and then finally, we have ten thousand, we have a thousand, we have a hundred, we have ten. Continuing the pattern now, that means we're just shaving off a zero each time when we get down to one. Um, so ten to the zeroth power is is one, and as it turns out, any value to the zeroth power power is one. Um, it could be eight to the zeroth power. That is one. Um, it could be, you know, two to the zeroth power. That also is one. It could be zero to the zeroth power. This, poof, mind blown here, is one. Um, so anything to the zeroth power is going to be one. We'll just we're just going to have to accept that. Um, there's there's more formal proofs, but they get really complicated. Um, so so just remember that um, it's really handy because. Um, one is really easy to work with. Zero is really easy to work with. So it's it's kind of a handy property. Um, there's another one here uh, I want to cover, and that's this um, this one with a, a negative value. So my example here is three to the negative third, um, but we can we can kind of do the same thing. In fact, um, I, I really don't mind using a calculator for one like this. Well, let's go ahead and see if we can do that. So um, we're going to take a three here. Go three. What's wrong with you? Three, 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 three. Okay, um, three, and then I have a, a power button here, so I'm going to put that to the power of, uh, in this case, a negative button. Mm, yes. mm, oh, that's right here. Uh, mm, negative. Sure. Three. Let's see what this thing is equal to. That's equal to. Okay, it's equal to this weird thing, uh, 0.037037037. Okay, well that was kind of odd. Um, let's let's back up. Let's see if we can figure out what this, um, how this is related to uh, understandable values. So let's try our three, and this time we'll do it to the value of zero. What's that equal to? Well, hey, look at that. That's one. Okay, we knew that one. What is three to the power of? Say negative one. You know what three to the first is? Let's try three to the power of negative one. Hmm, point three 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 three. Um, how do we get that? Well, um, as it turns out, point three 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 is one divided by three, right? Um, so we can go ahead and do this over here. We can say, sorry, this. We can say that three. So the negative one is equal to one divided by three. 
So what do you think 3 to the negative 2 power is? Um, let's do that calculation real quick. So we're going to clear this out. People are making noise. Just don't mind them. I didn't tell that to do that. Okay, so we'll take three. So three. There we go. And we'll multiply, or sorry, not multiply. We'll put that to the um, negative tooth power. And it, that's equal to 0. 0.1111111111. Well, if we... Uh, if you, if you do a lot of playing around with really basic numbers um, and basic functions in a calculator, you'll recognize that this is simply 1 divided by 9. Is 0 0.1111111111. So, hmm. so this thing here is equal to 1 over 9. Um, how do you think we get 1 over 9? Well, as it turns out, it's actually equal to 1 over 3 squared. So having a negative exponent here means that we're actually going to put that whole thing underneath a 1. So 3 to the negative third therefore is equal to 1 over 3 to the third power. Um, in this case we know what 3 to the third power is so it's equal to 1 over 27. Uh, let's go ahead and check this on our calculator. Our calculator can do Clear, sorry, clear. One divided by twenty-seven. As it turns out, that is equal to uh, 0 0.03. So this thing that we saw before. Cool. Okay. Uh, one more to go over here, and that's uh, a exponent that's a fraction. Um, so we have this guy here. This is our our exponent that's a fraction. And um, my example here is four to the one half power. Um, you could also write this, right? This is the same thing as 4 to the 1 half power, right? Like that. Um, I, either way is fine. They're, they're the same thing. So, so what happens here? Um, again, let's do a little pattern and find out. And we can just use our calculators to, to calculate this out. I highly encourage you. Um, I don't expect you to memorize every single one of these properties of exponents, but... If you have a calculator, that's a great chance to just do a quick little experiment on your calculator and be like, okay, what is the pattern here? Um, so you do 3 squared and then 3 to the first power and 3 to the zeroth power and like um, just, just punch it out a few examples um, to figure these things out. So for this one, let's try um, let's try 4 squared. We know what that one is. Um, this one will do 4 to the, um, let's try 1.5. Then we'll try 4 to the first power. And then we'll try 4 to the 0 0.5. And then we'll go 4 to the 0, which we know already. So let's see if we can get some values for these. Okay, 4 squared, we know that one. That's 4 times 4, or 16. In fact, uh, I'll, I should put the 4 times 4 in there. That means we know what that is. That's 4 times 4, which equals 16. Um, this one I'm going to skip for a second. What's 4 to the first? Well, that's 4. Um, and then this one, this is the one we're trying to figure out. But we do know this one, 4 to the 0th power is anything to the 0th power is going to be 1. So we have 16, 4, 1. So now we just need to fill in these, these gaps in between here. Um, we can go over here. Uh, we can use our calculator here. So we have 4. And then we're going to put that to the power of, in this case, 1.5 for that top one. What's that equal to? Oh, it's 8. That's strange. So we'll do 8. It's equal to 8. And let's, I'm going to put this one in red. Maybe we can figure out what that, that means here in a sec. Um, what is 4 to the 0.5 power? That one we also wanted to figure out. Oops. Here. Four, and then we're going to do the exponent. We're going to do 0 0.5. So what is four to the one half the power? We'll take a look at that. That's two. Um, in fact, we could have figured that out from here, right? We're going to 16, and then we're doing what? We're doing one half of that is eight. One half of that is four. One half of that should be two. Um, and as it turns out, if we were to follow this, um, we're doing roots. So the square root of 4 
as it turns out, is 2. So this whole thing is equal to um, the square root of 4, where um, the, the 2 here, so the square root, um, that's the, uh, the reciprocal of this value here. So um, if we did the 1.5, uh, what is 1 divided by 1.5? 1.5 is 3 halves, right? So it's the 2 thirds is the reciprocal there. So this is equal to the, I know it's a little confusing, um, but it's the 2 thirds root of 4. Or the, um, yeah. Okay, the, the one we do need to worry about here is, is to the one, one half power. You can think of this as a, as a square root um, function. Um, the rest of these we'll just have to use uh, calculators to calculate something like this. Okay, that's it for this video. Um, good luck.